Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening guys, Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another How to Install video. Today we will be going over the Dawnless Days Total War, previously referred to as Rise of Mordor. And this video has two purposes. The first is to show you guys the new download location and install process, and second, it serves as a public service announcement video. Due to some copyright conflicts, the Rise of Mordor team have been asked to remove their mod from ModDB.com, so it will not be found on both Steam or ModDB from here on out. However, it can be found now on NexusMods.com, and I will be showing you how to download it from the new site. In addition to the new mod location, the Rise of Mordor team have decided to change the name of the mod in an attempt to avoid any possible copyright conflicts in the future. After much deliberation, the Dawnless Days was chosen, and I think it is a fantastic name and should avoid any unwanted attention from here on out. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the new installation process. Now, before we do begin, I will leave a link to the site in the description, as well as the link to the official Rise of Mordor Discord, now called the Dawnless Days Discord. And also, you must create an account on Nexus Mods before you're able to download any of the mods found on the website. So, I'm not going to go over how to do that, but it's very simple. And once you have an account with the Nexus Mods, you can move on with the video. Now, once you do have an account, uh, if you go to nexusmods.com here, uh, and once it loads, it should have a search bar at the top here, and if you click on that and start typing in Dawnless Days, it should come up as the only one. It's already been renamed from Rise of Mortar to Dawnless Days. Go ahead and click on that, scroll down, and then click on the Files tab here. And for those of you who were familiar with the Rise of Mordor launcher, the launcher has not been updated and uploaded to Nexus Mods right now, so that is not working. So we're just going to be downloading the file packs, and we're going to be using the Total War launcher instead of the Rise of Mordor for this process. Now once they do get the launcher fixed, I will consider doing another uh, how to install video. Uh, just on how to download the launcher, because once the launcher is installed, the nice thing about it is that it will always search for updates and download them automatically. So that next video may actually be the last video I have to make on how to install uh, the Dawnless Days. So let's go ahead and click on manual download. Now, the only problem with Nexus Mods is that if you want to use the free account, uh, it kind of throttles your speeds to 2 megabytes, which is very, very slow. It's a very large mod, 6.2 gigabytes. The premium does have a maximum download speed, but I was using the free version, so I'm going to click the slow download. And I already downloaded the packs previous to uh, this tutorial, because as you can see, it takes about an hour at this speed to download. So you guys can just pause the video here, and once this is downloaded, then you should be able to pick up where uh, we left off. But I've already downloaded this, so I'm just going to cancel it. Just make sure that it downloads in its entirety before you move forwards. So now that we're all done there, we can close out of here, and then I'm going to open my file explorer. And uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have uh, two open here. Uh, I'm gonna have the left side looking into our downloads folder. So here it is, and if you click on it. You remember it was 6.2 gigabytes, and it's showing 6.18 gigabytes in the bottom, so I know it downloaded in its entirety. You can double-click on this to open it up. Obviously, you guys will need some extraction software for this. I use WinRare. It's a uh, free uh, program for extracting files. Uh, two other good ones are WinZip and 7-Zip. It's just really your preference, but you'll need to make sure to download uh, one of them before moving forwards. Now all we have to do is to take all these packs and then move them into our Total War Attila data folder. So for me, I've actually got it on my C drive, which most of you will have on your C drive. And it's uh, going to be Program Files 86, down to Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, Total War Attila, Data. And we're going to grab all these packs and we're going to move them over into this data folder. Now for uh, Sega users, or disk users I should say, the process uh, should be in a little annotation in the bottom of the screen there. It'll be relatively the same, local C, program files 86, Sega, Total War Attila, and then data. Now I'm just going to wait, uh, make a little cut here while we wait for this to extract and move over to our data folder, and we'll bring it back once the process is almost complete. All right, and there we go. The extraction process is complete, and we have all the files inside of our Total War Attila data folder. So we can close all of this out now, and all we have to do is launch Total War Attila.
go to our mod manager. And then make sure to deactivate all your mods first, because you if you have multiple mods uh, attached at the same time as you try to launch the Total War um, Dawnless Days mod, then uh, you can actually get some crashing, so that you don't want that to happen. Uh, so we've got them all kind of mixed up here. So what we need to do is we need to go through and make sure that they're all going to be together. Uh, so let's look here. Got a lot of a lot of mods. Was that the only three? I thought there was four, if I wasn't mistaken. Okay, Rise of Mortar hidden. And then we've got... Uh, what else do we have? We've got Ry Rise of Mortar pack two, three, and four. So I feel like the this one has to go nearby. So let's drag you down, if we can. Have them all together like so. And we can uh, look at more information here if you want to read more about the mod. It uh, actually has a bit of installation instructions there for you, which is good. Um, but let's make sure we've got four packs there. So actually, if we go back in very quickly to our downloads folder, open this up just to double check. Uh, so we've got pack one, two, three, and four. So I think that that's all of them. This must be pack one. It's not labeled as that, but... Uh, just go through your mods folder. Aha! Here we go. So this is actually what we need. So the hidden one you probably don't need to activate, but it's good to have them all together. So let's deactivate that, activate that, and then let's load into Total War Attila. Alright guys, welcome to Rise of Mordor. And obviously as the mod is updated, the name will be updated to the Dawnless Days and it will be referred to as the Dawnless Days from here on out. Let's just quickly jump into a battle to show you that it does indeed work. Uh, we'll just get some armies together with what we have here. Now, keep in mind a couple of things. Uh, the campaign is not out yet. A couple of you probably will be wondering why you can't click on the campaign and access it. It's still being worked on, but it isn't completed yet. So it is not available in this, uh, in this version of the mod. Uh, so it is custom and multiplayer battle only at this point. But there are tons of battle scenarios that you can do with this, uh, including a bunch of different custom maps to really uh, enhance the gameplay experience and uh, make it feel more immersive in uh, the Lord of the Rings universe. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And there you guys go. You can see that it does indeed work. And that should be everything, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this did help you guys out. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.